I recently had to thrash my config file and because I had made a lot of custom UIs I was not happy about that as you can imagine. Luckily I came across a video by James Darknell aka Mutant Pixel. He has a new YouTube channel uh, and his first video is about saving out custom setups in Modo. So he explains exporting your config files allows you to save customization that will persist across upgrades, service packs and the dreaded config file deletion. Do it once and you never will need to do it again and this is a lifesaver. Thank you James. Uh, in this video James explains or he gives an example of how to export your preference settings so when you go to Modo system preferences he makes some adjustments and then goes to file and do a config export in my video here I will give an example of how you can use the same principle to export custom UIs so what I recently adopted as a workflow is the following so I'll go to layout go to window new window normal so now I have a new window and here I'm going to create a custom layout first of all I'm going to right click on this viewport widget menu go to application and say I want a viewport group then I'm going to split this one and again for each of them I'm going to make a viewport group of out of them and this is important for when you press the zero key when you want to maximize your viewport that not everything get maximized so it only gets maximized per viewport group I'm going to split this one split this one make this for instance the toolbars model tools and this one for instance the properties tool properties and now I can minimize these headers for this one I'm going to create a 3d edit model quad and for this one for instance the status feedback I don't need my headers so min header drag this down and I don't need the header over here and I don't need the header over here anymore minus header now it is important this is a viewport that can be maximized so when I press the o the zero key over this perspective viewport it gets maximized but don't maximize it before saving out your config because that's can create problems when I save this as a config then I will not be able to maximize at least that is my experience so leave this in its default state and now go to the outermost triangle you see them highlights this is one and this is the outermost one viewport widget menu right click and I'm going to viewport controls and I'm going to save my viewport as give it a name for instance deletes me and I'm delete me one and I'm going to just leave the viewport category to application and click OK so now when I right click on this widget again I'm going to application and you see here is my delete me one viewport now I'm going to do what James taught me in his video I'm going to file and config export and click give it a name delete me one press ok and then I get a export config fragment and the fragment I'm going to choose is layouts so select layouts press ok going to close this window and make another one windows new window normal and actually this is the same as I shown previously so application and I'm going to make a viewport group going to make it a bit bigger and split this one and again making 
uh, oh, it's a triangle I need. So application viewport group again over here. Application viewport group. And for this one, for instance, I'm going to choose uh, 3D edits a UV 3D split, for instance. It doesn't even matter. This is just a oh, I can just an example of. So it doesn't really matter. Well, maybe brush preview, and I don't need those headers, so. Mini minus header, minus header, minus header. And again, the outermost triangle, right click, and I'm going to viewport controls, and I'm going to say save viewport as, and I'm going to call this delete me to, again in application, doesn't really matter that. So when I go to my outermost widget and go to application, you see I have delete me one and delete me two and again file config export I'm going to call this delete me two and again fragment layouts it's already been selected okay just like that I'm going to close modo going to my config and when I now thrash it and start up modo again and that's just like James showed in his video I get my first dialogues as if you had a fresh install so now I can make a new layout so I don't create a new layout before doing all that I do that after having thrashed the config. So if I set, for instance, or I can call this anything I like, my one, and I'm going to create another one, my two. Okay, and for my two, I'm going to right click on the widget over here and go to application and delete me two. And there is my custom UI, and for my one, the same, so right click on the widget, application, and delete me one. And now I have my custom UIs. And you see, if you have to trash your config, adding a layout over here and going to the widget and adding it, that's very little work. If you hadn't done that and everything of your customization had been added to, to your main config, then you would have to do all that work again. Now, these were, were simple examples, but if you have more, more custom layouts and more complicated layouts, then that can save you a couple of hours of work. And when I go to my folder, so it's my config folder, I up, up, your username, update, and Roman Luxology configs, you see here are my extra config files and these are custom forms that I created you can of course do the same with those so when I go to system form editor and to ungrouped and I have highlighted them in yellow so I can easily find them because I have trashed my config these custom forms I had assigned them to a, to a key so all I have to do now is right click and assign to key and it's alt x okay it asks me it's already assigned but I'm going to override and for this one I'm going to do the same assign to key alt w okay it says it's already assigned but that's okay close and when I press alt w now I get my custom buttons just like that so Thank you, James. Thank you very much for your video about the file config export. Because doing it this way means that when you have to trash your main config file, then setting up everything again is very little work. So I'm going to maybe show one last example. Now that I already have exported two layouts, 
what happens if I create another one. So window, no layout, normal. Going to make that one application a viewport group. Going to split this one and again for each main group I say application viewport group. And for this one also application viewport group. And for instance I'm going to make this for instance a a color picker and to make it easier for distinguishing everything so I don't need my header over here don't need it here, don't need it here minus header, then outermost triangle right click viewport controls save viewport as I'm going to call this delete me 3 again in viewport Category Application, OK. Going to File, Config Export, and call this Delete Me 3, OK. I want it as a fragment layouts. Press OK. Now I can close this when I go to my configs and I open it. And, I, and as you see, it's my Delete Me. Three, OK, and now I can add a new layout and my three, OK, this widget, right click and application, delete me three, and there it is, I can close this. So now I have my custom UIs and all I have to do to reinstall them after having trashed my main config is just adding those layouts click on the triangle and choose the right one yeah of course now I've made a copy in here so you see it's easy to match up everything so I'm going to and I don't know if I can't delete this but anyway it's not that important. I just can thrash my config file now and I don't have a lot of work to redo. And I had a crash. Close program. Don't send this time. Because I'm recording. Oh, yeah. I had to thrash my config. Sorry about that. I'm going to skip that for now. And to my desktop. Yep, delete. Yep. Start modo. Takes a few seconds. Yes. Yes. Don't start a chart crop. Okay. So my one and my two they already had been saved so I'm calling this my three okay application delete me three and I'm set good to go okay so that was a lot less work that I had to do to add that one again instead of having to rebuild it and that is thanks to the file config export so save out your custom UIs like that to your config, save out your form editor forms that you have created, like I have done, I showed it earlier, so I will have to resign my buttons like I've shown you, and that's all you need to do, and this can be done across upgrades, across service packs, and finally you can thrash your config file with a smile on your face instead of having the will to kill someone because you have to redo a lot of work. So thank you James Arknell aka Mutant Pixel and I hope you found this useful. Bye.